Reduce all fractions to lowest terms. Now we have a multiplication problem. We're multiplying two fractions, 4 fourteenths times 7 eighths. Now, since we're going to reduce, let's think about the 4 and the 8 for a minute. In fact, for, on scratch paper, write your fraction, write the 4 on the top and the 8 on the bottom. So let's just consider these two numbers, okay? Now, what number divides into 4 and 8? Well, they're both even, so 2 goes into them. Is there anything larger than 2? Well, 2 is a common factor, but so also is what? 4 is a common factor, and 4 turns out to be the greatest common factor. Well, what is 4 divided by 4? And 8 divided by 4. Okay? Now, this is a lot of writing down here. Essentially, what we're doing, we're scratching through the, the numerator and the denominator. We're putting a 1 on the top and a 2 on the bottom. You know, I don't have to write any of this. If you understand what we're doing here, we'll scratch out the 4 and the 8. And what number goes on top? 1 and 2. So I don't need to write any of this. Okay? This looks much easier anyway. Can you do the same thing with 7 and 14? What number do they have in common? Well, I know 7 divided by 7 is, and 14 divided by 7 is. So you end up with two fractions, really one fraction, huh? Where the numerator is 1 times 1. The denominator is 2 times 2. Final answer then is one fraction. The numerator is 1 times 1 is 1, and 2 times 2 is 4. And that's reduced to lowest terms.